Hey everybody, it's Eric at LearnMax and got a little bit of a bizarre tutorial to show you tonight. It's kind of an advanced topic, but uh, it's in line with something I was doing at work today. I was looking at writing basically a Max program to control one of our pieces of equipment and I needed to create a TCP network connection between Max and this particular piece of gear. So it got me thinking about, you know, wow, couldn't you do that kind of thing uh, inside Max for Live? And of course you can. So uh, if we look over here, I have uh, a couple of tracks set up and I have this MIDI track over here that has my um, little uh, Max patch on it that sends, uh, it opens up a network connection through TCP. It uses the MXJ, uh, this guy right down here. Let's just look at this right in here. I don't have to open up the edit window for it. MXJ, now what MXJ does, it's a really, really special object. It lets you run Java code. Uh, basically right inside of Max. And um, there's a bunch of things that are, you know, available for it, like this net.tcp.send is a uh, network, a uh, little piece of network code that allows you to send information on a TCP um, using the TCP protocol. T there's TCP and UDP. They're two different types of, um, uh, ooh, what's it called? Uh, two different protocols that you can use for networking, for IP networking. Uh, so anyway, this other piece of gear I needed to use uh, uses TCP, so I wanted to talk TCP to it. And so to demonstrate that, since I didn't have the gear handy, I wrote a little processing sketch. And uh, I'm not sure if you are familiar with processing or not, but here's here's the processing. Um, it's sort of very Java-ish. Uh, it's a real simple environment, uh, and you can do all sorts of stuff in it. And there's a, a little sample application. Originally, it was written by Tom Igo, who's done lots of stuff in processing, lots of interactive uh, art kind of stuff. Um, but this program was originally written using a different uh, object inside of Max. So I, I tweaked it to actually use the MXJ and NetTCP. And uh, let me show you what it does. So this program, all it does, it waits to see uh, to get three messages or three integers from who's ever talking to it. It could be any program. It doesn't care as long as it gets TCP IP traffic. So um, it gets three messages and it draws a ball on a little screen, which you'll see over here. Uh, and uh, the location of the ball, what I'm doing down here, I look at my MIDI notes that come into this device and I separate that into a note number, a pair of note numbers, actually the same thing, and the velocity. And I pack that together uh, into a message. I append a uh, semicolon at the end because originally that's what the code expected. So what's going to happen is it's going to send, like in this case, uh, note 42 sends that twice, sends zero for the last velocity. It just happened to be what it sent. And then the semicolon at the end. Um, the MXJ net TCP send object, you give it a network address. That's the machine you want to talk to. In this case, I'm using 127.0.0.1, which is the simple local address. So it's, it means this machine. That's why it'll work on any particular computer, uh, just, you know, sends to the, the same machine you're running on. And I open up a port. Uh, every TCP socket needs to have an address and a port. So I'll click on that, click on that. Okay, my socket is now open. And let's bring that back. Now, watch what happens when I play a track that happens to be also sending, you see this KJ Sokka beat I have here. This MIDI track is also receiving the MIDI information from that track. And so then it's going to basically take note ins and send them using TCP over to my processing application. Now, let me pop that one back up again here. Where'd it go? There it is. So you'll see it's jiggling the little uh, ball around, and also when it gets a velocity, a big, you know, high velocity, it makes the ball big, and it lightens the color up. So uh, this is just a real simple test, and it's, it, I found also you kind of overflow things. You see after a while it starts to get sluggish and slow down, which is uh, bad. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend uh, doing this for uh, a real application, but it's, it's, you know, you can see it's still kind of catching up with itself here. Um, Hopefully, hopefully the audio doesn't sound terrible on this. I don't know if it choked screen flow or not. Well, we'll find that out in a second. But anyway, this is a really good example of, you know, kind of really extending what Max can do and what Live can do by combining them together. And now using this, I mean, you can write Java code uh, inside of uh, Live now, basically. I mean, you can use uh, all sorts of extensions to, to Max for Live. And this is a really good one. You can use it to control other gear. Uh, there's OSC and all that kind of stuff, open sound control, other networking protocols.
files that are built in there. But this is a real just, you know, quick example of using the MXJ Java extension and also using that to talk TCP uh, over to another uh, program or it could be another device living on your network or anything like that. So anyway, I uh, thought I'd show you that. Maybe uh, inspire you to do something really weird and crazy. And uh, have fun. Happy patching. See you next time. Take care. This is Eric from LearnMax.